gentlemen, welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today we are finally going to be doing our unboxing and overview of this Asus GeForce GTX Titan X. Now I've been wanting to do this for a while as you guys know, but um, it's, it takes a little while, just New Zealand, it's so far away and everything tech wise just takes a million years to get here. Just ask any Kiwi you know and they'll tell you exactly what I mean. A lot of Aussies have the same problem as well. But uh, hey, we got there in the end so let's get into this unboxing and overview. Box wise it looks um, pretty standard, this is just kind of what we've come to expect from uh, NVIDIA, well more the manufacturers that put out NVIDIA cards. Just all quite basic with all the specs and that. So let's open this bad boy up. Now, if you are not aware, I will fill you in about this GPU. I just thought it had already been opened. <laughs> there we go. Cut the seal. Um, so, this guy features a 28 nanometer GM200 Maxwell GPU. Uh, that's opposed to the uh, GM204 that the GDX 980 and 970 have. So it's basically it's big bad brother. Oh, let's get you out of here. Alrighty. Nice, nice standard, quite packaging. Uh, this is probably what you'll get if you buy one of these. Obviously, this is just the reference model. It's up there. Okay, open it up. Oh, okay, so they've done this again. So you see, this is the one when we did our original GX980 uh, unboxing and overview. The same thing, this weird plastic that um, took me a while to figure out. Oh, why aren't you been there? There we go. Okay, so how does this work again? I gotta remember. Oh yes, it unflaps at the back. I remember. Okay, we'll put this aside for now. Stay. Don't want to tide next falling over. <laughs> And uh, we'll look at the accessories really quick, so just standard stuff, we just got a uh, manual here, driver CD, really, even on the Time X, wow, okay, and it's just warranty stuff, yep, pretty standard, little accessory box here, let's see what's in here, we just have a, what's that, uh, twin 6 pin to 8 pin power connector, a power adapter I should say. So that's all pretty standard here, not much in terms of accessories, but hey, you're paying for um, a really high-end GPU. So let's get into it, bring you over. Yeah, see, it's funny, eh? Hey? This is what it looks like around the back. It's quite strange. Um, it took me, like, a good while. If, if you remember back to that video, I think I had to cut it because I couldn't figure out uh, how to actually get the GPU out of this plastic. Alright, uh, so we'll go in here now. Oh, God. Oh yes, I remember this. It, the plastic like sticks down on the corners. Okay, and finally, ah, there we go. Finally, we have the Titan X out. Hmm, no backplate. Interesting. The uh, GDX980 has backplate from the reference models too, anyways. Anyways, let's carry on talking about this guy. So, uh, GPU-wise, as I said, GM200, which is the big bad brother of the GM204, which is in the GDX 980 and 960. This guy is featuring 3,072 CUDA cores to the GDX 980's 2048. Memory-wise, as you might have noticed around the back, uh, this guy has 12 gigabytes at 7,010 megahertz, so the same speed as 980's and 970's. Uh, however, that's on a 384-bit bus as opposed to the 256-bit bus on the 980-970. Peak memory bandwidth is also 50% higher than on the GTX 980, so that's really good to know. Now, GPU-wise itself, it's coming at a 1000 MHz base clock, or 1 GHz, and a 1075 boost clock, although that will change, as I always say, uh, GPU Boost 2.0, it'll turn things up depending on temperatures and all that fun stuff. Uh, TDP wise, it's coming with a 250 watt TDP, so quite a bit higher than the 980, which was at 165 watts. And the power requirement for this guy is 600 watts, which is also quite a bit higher. Let's take that plastic off there and that nice color. Oh man, looks wise, this guy just looks fantastic. So it's the same kind of reference style cooler that everyone really likes. Well, I, I really like them. I think it looks really sexy. Obviously, it's uh, black except for these gray parts. I believe this 
GeForce GDX lights up, although I'm not 100% sure. On the reference 980 it did, so we'll have to see if that's the case with this guy as well. Have that uh, acrylic over the top so you can see the heat fins in there. We've got this nice chrome around the fan at the back there. Of course, this is a blower style fan, so suck in air from this end. Uh, if you're wondering how it works, uh, obviously go over this big heat sink. You can see through the, the plastic here. Yeah, plastic. I thought it might be glass for a second. And uh, it exhausts it out this honeycomb at the back here. Now, size-wise, if you're just wondering, uh, it's coming in at 282 millimeters long. So it's decently long, although, you know, this should fit in most things. I pretty sure it'll fit in pretty much every mid tower. You might need to take out a hard drive cage if it's on the smaller end. 110 millimeters wide, so that's pretty standard, and 43 millimeters tall, so that's also quite standard. Nothing too out of the ordinary there. Flip around to up top. Uh, it's got a single 8-pin and single 6-pin power connector, so that's actually pretty decent considering how much of a beast this card is cracked up to be, so I'm quite impressed that it's not... I was expecting dual 8-pins. Uh, over the side we see the SLI fingers, so you're going to be getting a uh, dual SL, uh, dual SLI, up to four way SLI I should say, uh, with dual SLI fingers as you see here. And let's go around and look at IO, oh, still got a cover on here. So IO wise, okay this is just standard NVIDIA stuff, so uh, DBII, uh, HDMI 2.0 which means 4K at 60 hertz. if you want to go there, and 3 DisplayPort 1.2, which is the one I would suggest you use anyway. Um, and this nice sort of honeycomb design at the back, which looks quite cool. It also uh, sports all the other features that we've talked about <laughs> quite a bit by now, so I won't go over them, all the other Maxwell features, like VXGI and all that cool stuff. Um, so this is looking pretty cool. I think it looks like an awesome card. Obviously looks aren't everything, so we will be doing a GPU showdown. Uh, to see how this guy goes, and if I recommend it. I mean, this guy is coming in at a pretty high price point. Uh, so it's obviously not going to be for everyone. This is aimed at the, you know, ultra enthusiast market. Just people that want the single uh, fastest GPU they can get. Um, and they don't really mind too much about how much that's going to cost. That's the market this guy is aimed at. Uh, so obviously a bit beyond the average consumer or average um, PC enthusiast out there. But yeah, I think this guy is going to go pretty good. I'm going to be pretty excited to see how it does in the benchmarks and in all the testing. And as I said, I think it looks pretty damn cool. I've always liked these uh, reference coolers and they're much better than the AMD reference. Just let me get that straight if you're wondering. Uh, these are way, way, way better both in terms of noise and temps and just in looks. They're just a much, much better reference cooler. However, with the 390 and 390X being just around the corner, it'll be interesting to see what our reference cooler design design AMD goes with this time around. So I'll be interested for that. Now, I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown so you catch my Titan X GPU showdown as soon as it comes out and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.